Ladies and gentlemen, this is your co-main event of the evening. Scheduled for five three-minute rounds in the super welterweight division. Our referee in charge for the bell rings, Bill Clancy. And this fight is brought to you by the Fight Doctors. Let's meet the fighters first. Fighting out of the blue corner. He stands five feet, 11 inches tall. He weighed in at 147 pounds. He holds a bare knuckle record of one win versus two losses. And he fights out of Dade City, Florida, by way of Passaic, New Jersey. Here is Christopher Melaza Gonzalez. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall. He weighed in at 150 pounds. He holds a bare knuckle record of zero wins versus one loss. And he fights out of Charlotte, North Carolina. Here is Josh Preacher Man Oxendine. Bring it here, gentlemen. Bring it here. Bring it here. All right, gentlemen, what's the rules in the back? I expect a good, clean fight. Protect yourself at all times. And gentlemen, you must obey my commands. Now, both your trunks are perfect. I can see your belly buttons. There you go. All punches above the line. Now, go back to your corner, and I'll call you out. It's the belly button test from Bill Clancy. 21 days ago, Christopher Gonzalez was in the Trigon. 737 days ago, Josh Oxendine was in the Trigon. Now they are set to battle in our co-main event. Here we go, preacher man in the white trunks, red wraps. Switch stance, Christopher Gonzalez. He's got some blue and red in his trunks. Starts in the South Paul, says he is a black belt street fighter. He's in the blue ramps. Stop, 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 let him up, stop, stop. Oxendine grew up in the native land of Pembroke, North Carolina. He said mom still lives there. The Lumbee tribe's first professional fighter. And he's really proud of his roots. He's really proud of what his congregation did for him. Said he's got the Marine Corps and a tribe behind him. Some instruction from referee Bill Clancy. Oh. And a good shot from Oxendine. That hurt him. Yes. That could be it. I just like the way Oxendine adjusts his height and then just threw a quick right. Hit beat your 17 seconds but it was darn close and i ended up giving you that right there he did he did work yep you know he definitely did work all right and then on top of that was another body shot yep hey i give that point uh, this is this is nice all right Buna comes still wrapped coming off a great victory in 17 seconds I'm gonna hand the replays right over to you dragon fist oh give it to me all right. give it to me Man, he hit him with a bad body shot. Take us through it, Andre. All right, so what it is, he ended up biting really hard with that two, and, and that's where he followed up with that two to the body. It's the body shot. People don't end up understanding that no one actually likes to deliver in that, and my boy, he ended up delivering that two straight into the, to the windpipes. That's their windpipes. And he knew it was over. He did. He did. And at the end of the day, when you know when you hit the right spot at the right time, that's all it wrote. That's all you need. And it's the fates that make everything, honestly, bring everything to light. So I give that point to my man. Good job. And in your fight, I heard your corner call for the liver shot, but you had already connected with the right. I'm sure you were going to follow with the liver shot, but you already finished it. Oh, it, it, it was a fact. It yeah. was a full-on fact, you know? Like, I, back at home, if I don't end up touching the body at least four to five times in my fights, I get yelled at. So, <laughs> well, it's one of those things. You're not, if you didn't touch it four or five times tonight, it's because you were only in there 17 seconds. Oh, that is a fact. That is a fact. Great show of class and respect for two men who truly have had their lives turned around, have had their lives saved by martial arts, by combat, by boxing. Yeah, but that's nothing about respect, because I was definitely one of those guys that 
you know, that needed answers. I needed, I needed, I needed something, and this is me responding, and this is the response I got. You know, and I always sit there and say, I choose violence, but in reality, the word violence means I choose the word art. Amen. And art is violence. And there was some great art there. Let's make it official. Here's Big Mo. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Bill Clancy calls a stop to this contest at 48 seconds of the very first round, declaring your winner by knockout Joshua Preacher Man Oxendine. Welcome back to the Trigon, Josh Oxendine. Here's Claudia. Thank you. That was quick. That was a beautiful moment right there. Two men of God, two very spiritual men. What words did you exchange? Um, I told him, you know, Jesus loves a man. No matter what he goes through in life, um, you can always call him God, man, and he'll be there no matter what. Um, through the tough times, the good times, the bad times, God always there and never leave you nor forsake you. One of the things that I've noticed about you, you're really, really, I don't want to say hard, but structured within yourself after this very quick moment in the trigon how would you grade your performance uh first of all man i want to give shout out to my lord and uh, savior jesus christ man without god in my life i wouldn't be the man i am today i won't be the husband the father so without god man god's my everything so shout out to my lord and savior jesus christ uh, my wife shannon truck my coaches everybody likes fitness but yeah man we had a game plan we're going to the body and I know if I touch him, he's falling. And uh, I told you I was going to baptize somebody, and he got baptized. Oh, we saw that. As a matter of fact, Let's right, go. Let's go. there was a very quick adjustment to your height, and that hand then went right away. Did you, was there a doubt in your mind that he was not going to get up? Oh, yeah, I knew he wasn't getting up. My hand's certified. I told y'all that in the interview. These hands are nasty. And when I touch people bare knuckle, they fall. And, uh, man, more glory to him, man. I pray for him, but uh, yeah, he wasn't ready. So between this and graduating soon from your bachelor's, what's the biggest win for you? Ah, uh, biggest win is when I gave my life to Jesus Christ. That's the biggest win all day, every day. There's nothing come close to it. So uh, I know where my life goes when I leave this world, my soul going to heaven, and that makes me happy every day. Congratulations on so this much. win. Back to the table. Let's go. Delivered its first child sermon at age 14 just before he lost his father to cancer his wife priscilla they go back to age 15 and the big fight that josh have the challenge he has every day is his three beautiful little girls they're eight six and three they're puerto rican mexican native american he said now that is a handful josh oxendine comes back and wins impressively in our co-main event of the evening, finishing Christopher Gonzalez in just 48 seconds. Baptism complete.